everybody loves Brooke. Mm -hmm. He's just the nicest guy in the world. And you, when you see a guy like that win the title, like you just love it. Everybody's loving it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was, I'll tell you what, man, again, man, these have been exciting fights so far. Absolutely. Very good. Right here, I've had my eye on. But that's what we were just talking about before you got here, and everybody's excited. Um, you know, a lot of great people were born in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, firstly, myself. Um, and then after that, I don't really know. Um, but no, you, you know, it's exciting. Stipe Mochis, strong style gym. A lot of people don't know about that gym there, but... Listen, man, you know, when I think of strong style, I know the wrestling background, I know their jiu-jitsu, I know they're a tough gym, but this is a boxing fight. Yes. This is interesting to me. I, I don't know about their boxing, but Elijah, you do. Well, right. you know, I've gotten to see some of strong style boxing before. They've got, they're under Brian Getty in there. Brian's a hell of a coach. Very, very knowledgeable guy. Dangerous fighter in himself. You just take a look at his ears. But uh, Brian's... I've gotten to see him fight because we had Dewan Calloway compete for us. And Dewan, he is a friend. Dewan's a guy who could legitimately make a world title run at heavyweight in boxing. He's very scary. And here, John Grzuski, absolutely inspirational guy. I saw a photo of him today that Brian had posted about four years ago. This guy looked like a different person. Let me see here. I'll pull it up and show Butch here. This is John. Holy moly. For Holy. people that can't see this, this is ridiculous. Absolutely amazing transformation. This kid was very heavy. And uh, coming out of high school, I think he wanted to change that. He's been training for four years at Strong Style. He's made a complete physical transformation. He's competed twice and won gold gloves twice. He's competed in the national championship for USA Boxing very accredited amateur career so again for people that didn't see that picture we're talking about an overweight guy that now is this picture of perfection that also does not have loose skin and who was the guy in the ufc who was joe something that they always talked about that fought at 170 that uh i know exactly long-haired guy about. right but anyway same jake, thing jake collier was that way yeah and it, it, it's amazing when you see somebody make this transformation and not only that they don't have the loose skin that you know i mean like it's just it's hard it's, it's, it's hard to lose that much weight and, and be firm and tight. Like he's put Absolutely. the work in. That's he's what it's a work. sign of. Like the dude's been working hard. And I have a feeling, you know, we, we've not talked about his opponent, Joe Thompson. We saw Joe at our last card against Zane Fry. He took a very bad knockout loss. But he showed signs. He's a tough guy. He's really tough. He's more of a brawler. Something. You know, from Cleveland, one. One thing that people don't understand is, you know, Jordan, who used to weigh a lot, you've got to carry that weight around. Oh, it so, gives you a lot of power. Exactly. So naturally, you know, you're carrying 300 pounds in your legs, your your body. You're you're just basically lifting weights all day without any doing anything. So now that he's lower weight, he still has that strength that power. of a of a giant man. And I see the man himself over there, Brian Gideon, in the corner of Jordan. They touch gloves and the fight begins. Nice jab to the body. Right out of the gate by Jordan. But Joe's the busier yeah. man so far. Joe's the busier man, but he's keeping his left hand low. And that's not good considering that right hand could come right at him on that side. Huh? He's also biting on those feints. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh he's nice. rushing for it. Wow. Oh, man. He clicked he it. He did. But he's going to run into something. Yeah, if he comes forward like that, he will run into something. And it will be bad news. And here now we see Jordan getting busy. Big yeah, you don't see Joe take oh. punches as well as uh, Jordan did, right? Here we go, right in front of us here. Let's see this action. You know, yeah, those glancing one two there exactly. from Joe, and the one twos are kind of falling down. Oh, nice double jab from Jordan. 
He's getting comfortable now. Yep. He's feeling him out. Really starting to find his groove. Nice jab to the body there. Nobody's working the jab that much, right? Oh, oh I see it downstairs. Holy hey, top. And Joe keeps his feet. He stays strong. That was a big left hook yeah. from Jordan. And we found out in that last fight against Zane Fry that Joe Thompson's a tough man. Man, Jordan's putting it on right there, isn't he? Jordan. Yeah, but he's missing now, you know? It's not he's, bad rounds. Jordan's chasing him, too, though. Oh, if Joe that could, right hand. If, right behind the ear there. If Joe could catch him coming in, it Absolutely. could change the dynamic of this fight. It's a good jab there from Joe. <laughs> You know, Joe's head nice movement's not, not the greatest. It's oh. not bad, but it's just not the greatest, right? Like, there you go. See, he's oh, just covering yeah. up. Yeah. Yep. I think the Drops difference between there. a big difference between Joe and Jordan, Joe loads up on everything he Absolutely. throws. He throws yeah. as hard as he can every punch. Jordan's not doing that. No. Jordan is just throwing his punches. He's he's boxing. But, I, you know, I would even argue that knockdown wasn't the greatest punch, but he knew something was, was coming, something. right? So he just kind of folded under pressure. And that might have been a smart move by Joe Thompson. Absolutely. Now, that hit him right on the chin. Yeah, that was a nice left hook. It's good jabs, though. So far, Joe Thompson's chin has held up, though. It's good. I mean, he's got it. You know, what he's missing is just the head movement, right? Oh, big body shot. Ooh, he's and getting, I believe that shot in yeah, the body hurt him. He's getting tagged now. And that's what I'm saying. Defensively, he's just missing the, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, they trade. They traded there. That was a beautiful trade. But you see that but uppercut now, that Thompson landed. He just oh, had no. in it. Yeah, there's just Short not a lot of defense. I look for him to go down here again in a second. Yeah. Because his defense is just turning his head. Yes. Very bad. Looks like the beginning of the Jordan end here. Puts him down yet again. And, it, and he's down there. Well. there. I'd Again, the, the difference here is the amount of defense. I think their offense is, I wouldn't say comparable, but it's not that far off. It's just defensively, there's no head movement. There's no duck. There's no bob and weave. He's kind of turning his head. When he turns his head, he gets hit. I'll right. say it now. Technically, Jordan is the better. Player. I would be very shocked to see this go to a third round. I would be very shocked if, if Joe can withstand this punishment for another I agree. round. I, I think Jordan's found his range. The pace, yeah, setting is also he's not rushing unbearable. either. Like you don't, you see, like he's not putting on a pace that he can't sustain. Right, yes. he's fighting smart. Absolutely. The first thirty seconds to a minute was finding the range, finding the cadence, and then he found it, and then he just hunted him the last thirty forty five seconds of the round. And right? we see my friend Lee Spurgeon here in the corner of Joe Thompson, trying to give him some advice. Lee's got a quite. Bruiser, Quite extensive pro boxing career himself. You know he knows his stuff, but how much? How much can you give a guy that's up against? It's 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 a bit of a mismatch. He's up against a guy who's very tough, even though it's his first fight. You know Joe's more experienced as a pro, mm -hmm. but this young guy is a killer. Listen, I got to give it props too. I mean, I know I say this all night, but even when these guys are kind of outmatched, outmatched on paper. They're still game fighters. Yeah, Joe makes it a fight. Got, That's the know? thing. He made it a fight with Fry. Like, Absolutely. It's a strange thing. Like You, you don't see he, him get discouraged at all. Well, the first one out to the middle right there was Joe Thompson, mm -hmm. right? As soon as the ref said go, he that was right there That takes a massive amount of work. Oh, wow, what an uppercut. He walked right, and he ate it like candy. Yes. And just kept keeps standing there, staying in front of him. That's got to be a little frustrating. Tough, tough guy. This thing you you know you get a guy like that with good coaching, he could become Absolutely. a very talented fighter. Again, it's just defense. When I'm looking at him right here, like look, his punches look fine. It's just he's not moving that his defense. head off the, yeah. the center line. He starts getting punched. Oh my god, himself. and it's getting bad. And he oh, takes oh, another one. He was just way ahead of him. He was. Yeah, quite honestly, that knee was good, right? He didn't take a lot of punishment because he took it. And knee. look at that. He and just he jumped in the air and threw his hands yeah. in the air and yelled, "Woo!" Yeah, he knew. But look at him. Yeah. No question in his heart. But you Ever. know Jordan's coming for him now because yeah. he feels he smells the blood in the water, right? Here he comes. Well, I think Joe Thompson's doing that as much for himself as anything. Absolutely. Trying to get himself mentally in there. Look at his footwork here, uh, meaning Joe. Oh man. Yeah, you know, let's see how see how Joe's stepping back. That's Jordan not Christmas good. Is, oh man, yeah, it's the beginning of the end. Really putting it on him. I feel Joe. And, feels and the we pressure. see Matt Jones call that fight. Great job by the referee yeah. there. I, I, yeah, agree. I agree. No, I agree. That was a good call. 
and, and Joe, Joe's not unhappy with it, you know? Yeah, listen, man, you, you've got to protect these guys. You're getting punched in the face. They're not going to quit. Most no, of they're fighters. No. They're yeah. tough people. And that's fighters. what I tell everybody. A fighter is a fighter. The reason they're fighters is because they'll fight anybody to the death. They need somebody to protect them from themselves. Four little wicker, five KO, one minute, fourteen seconds to round two. And the wicker, crunch, 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 Michael, you from the front, you know, you're here. What's your talk to that? You're you. It's a big moment for you. How'd you feel? It's all good. Okay. I'm fine. I'm always here for playing. Enjoy the evening. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm fine. So, you know, those, those people that don't know your story, very inspirational guy. <laughs> About four years ago, and it completely changed your life. I think that's fair to say. So, tell a little bit about your journey here. Yeah, so I'm assuming nobody knows. Follow me on Instagram. But uh, yeah, I was almost 300 pounds at one point. I lost, put on the muscle, lost the weight, wanted to get back into fighting. And uh, yeah, there I am. I know you've done this. Big plans in the sport. What's next for you? Um, see, you do what I'm doing. This is only one. I, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm fighting again in October 28th, coming to Cleveland. If you're in the area, come out there. And uh, now, since the uh, struggle, weight loss, keep working, put the Twinkies down, and start picking up that pussy. Let's <laughs> Quite the closing statement there from the shooter. Yeah, I don't even know what to say to that.